we would like to calculate distances to nearby stars, such as Proxima Centauri. So here we're looking at Proxima Centauri in the southern sky, courtesy of ESO. There it is with the crosshairs. We are given a star's parallax angle is measured to 0.769 arc seconds. We would like to find the distance in units of parsecs, and we're given a conversion should we need it when parsec is equal to 3.26 light years. The equation we're going to use is d is equal to 1 over p, where d is in units of parsecs and p is in units of arc seconds. So we just need to identify. So in this case, we have a distance is what we're trying to find, and we can identify that as the letter d in the equation. We're given 0 0.769 arc seconds, and we can identify that as the angle p. So all we need to do is put the values in. So we've got 1 divided by 0 0.769, and so we're just going to put that in. And then what we need to do is we need to get out a calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Google Calculator. 1 divided by 0 0.769. So we need to put 1 divided by 0.769, and we hit equal. Now notice that 769 is three digits, so our answer we want in three digits, 1.30. We go to the fourth digit and notices it's a zero, so it's less than five. So the third digit, a zero, does not rev up. The answer is 1.30. So we put that in on our document, 1.30, and the units are parsecs. Now let's say we want to not have units of parsecs. We want to go ahead and put it in, in units of light year. Well, we need to build our railroad track. You always put on the bottom the letters you want to get rid of, which is parsec, and you always put on the top the letters you eventually want, which in this case is light year. So we know we have a conversion of one parsec is equal to 3.26 light years, so we just need to put that in. So we put our 3.26 on the top, and our one on the bottom, and we have our conversion. So then all we need to do is cancel. So let's cancel our letters first. Parsec cancels with parsec, and we are left with light year, which is the unit that we want. So we need to multiply it out. 1.30 multiplied by 3.26 divide by one. So there's our 1.30 multiplied by 3.26. We hit equal and divide it by one, and we hit equal, and we have a value of 4.23 so-and-so. Remember, we only want three digits, so we want 4.23. We go to the fourth digit, and we notice that nine is greater than five, so the third digit of three is revved up to a four. So our answer is 4.24, and our unit is light years, because we just carry the letters across like we did with the numbers. We canceled out parsec, the only thing left is light year, so our answer is light year. So now we have a distance of 4.24 light years for Proxima Centauri. Let's check it. So here we have a sketch courtesy of NASA and Penn State. And here's the sun and the distance to Proxima Centauri looks like sure enough, just slightly over four, four and a quarter about. And look at Bernard's star, it's about six light years. This is how we find distances to nearby stars.